To make your graduation cap, you will need a large piece of black card, scissors, sellotape, a pencil and a glue stick. First, you need to measure the height of your cap and draw a line across the black card. A height of seven inches should be adequate. Now you need to use your scissors to cut carefully along the line. Make sure that you are being as careful as possible and you should be sitting down when you are cutting and using scissors. Now, fold the black card about one inch all the way along the card and press down to create a fold. Now you might need some help to put the card around your head to measure the circumference of the hat. Use some tape to secure the hat in place at the correct size. It's a handy tip to have this tape ready. Make sure that you put the tape underneath the inch line that you folded earlier. Now you need to cut down from the top of the cap to the inch fold that you folded earlier. Try and make these cuts a consistent width and only go down to the fold. So all the way around the hat. You will then fold these cuts back on themselves. It's important that this is level all the way around so you only fold down the earlier inch fold so that these can be stuck later on. Now you need to make the mortarboard for your hat. This should be a square shape and the size of this mortarboard depends on the circumference of the hat that you've already made. I would suggest using a ruler. I didn't have a ruler handy, so I used a whiteboard. You just need a straight edge to create a square large enough to sit on top of your hat. Cut carefully along these lines, be as accurate as you can. Now you need to add glue to the folds on the cap you've made earlier. Add plenty of Pritt stick on each piece so that it sticks to the top of your hat. Now you need to place the square that you've made earlier onto the rest of the hat that fits your head. The easiest way I found to do this was to place a square on the floor and to press the rest of the hat down onto it. That way you can make sure it's nice and secure and ready to wear at your graduation next Wednesday the 24th of June. Don't forget to wear your school uniform and your graduation cap if you're able to make one.